All right. When we're translating algebraic expressions, we have to realize that algebra is a language that is used to define mathematical relationships and procedures. So what we want to learn how to do is translate English to algebra. Um, so in this case, um, there's a lot of ways in English that we can represent in mathematical you know operation or procedure um, let me zoom in on this and we can kind of look at so this is in your textbook um, let me zoom on this quick we can see it um, so for addition we have things like the sum of a and b a increased by b b more than a a added to b a plus b um, again we want to learn how to translate English to algebra, but later on, um, it's actually really important to be able to translate algebra back to English so we can understand definitions, understand theorems, things like that. Um, but we want to go through a couple examples, and I'm just, I'm just going to be referring to the chart above here. Um, it'd be a good idea to review um, some of the words, um, some of the phrases in English that represent the algebraic operation. All right, so let's look at a couple of examples here. So what we're going to do is translate each phrase into an algebraic expression. Use the variable x to represent the unknown number. Um, so one of the things that we look for um, is the operation. So increased by um, would basically represent, so I like to look for the operation but that's going to be adding increased by now what we want to do is translate the meaning a number increased by five so a number we'll call that um, x is increased by five so x plus five would be the expression in algebra so that's pretty straightforward um, maybe another word phrase with the same meaning if we take this Um, another word phrase with the same meaning would be um, something like um, five more than a number. Okay, so it's got the same, like I said, the same meaning. And works the same way. All right, um, let's look at another one. The difference of a number in 10. So the difference of represents subtraction. And when it lists, it basically lists the numbers in order. It lists in order what you're going to be subtracting. So we're going to take the difference of a number and 10. So a number is x and 10. So again, the difference of is like explaining a noun. And then a number and 10 is just the list in order of what the difference is. So again, that's that's not the same as, um, this is different than if we had 10 minus x. So this would not be the same in algebra and it would not be the same expression. So this is wrong, we need to watch out for that. But maybe another expression um, that represents the same thing as 10 subtracted from a number. So this is the same meaning um, if we start with a number and subtract 10 or 10 subtracted from a number would be the same thing. So let's try another one. Um, these are the, ex the same kind of expressions here. Um, it says 10 less than a number. And again, we recognize less than as subtraction. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. But it's 10 less than a number. So in this case, the number comes first and 10 comes second. I'm actually subtracting 10 from a number. So that's the meaning of this expression. So you notice it has the same meaning as in part B. Um, it has the exact same expression. So there's a lot of different ways in um, English that we can express the same mathematical expression. Um, maybe another way we could say this is a number decreased by 10. Um, decreased by um, 
is the same thing and then the order x minus 10 would be the same. So let's go on to D. It says the sum of twice in number and at an eight. So the sum of again represents addition. So we're gonna we know this is an addition and then it just lists the things in order. So here's the two things twice a number would be the first and then eight would be the second. So twice a number is multiplication represents two times a number. So this would be the same as two x. So two x would be first twice a number and then eight would be second. Um, so this would be the expression in algebra, the sum of twice a number and eight. And maybe another expression or English phrase, eight added to twice a number. Um, you could actually express the same thing that way. How about nine subtracted from half a number? So again, subtracted from, we have to realize we're gonna be subtracting, but nine is subtracted from. So in this case, the nine is what is subtracted. It's subtracted from half of a number. Well, half is one half of a number is times x. So this would be the same as half times. So of a number means multiplication, half would be one half times x minus nine. Okay, so subtracted from, and um, maybe another phrase that would represent the same thing, the difference of half a number and nine. So the difference of, and then the list, half a number and nine. Okay, would be the exact same expression. And then finally, the quotient of a number and five subtracted from 11. So if you think of, there's a couple of things here. Um, the quotient of represents a division. So we know we're going to write a fraction with the division. It says a number and five would just be a list. So the quotient of a number and five would be x over five. 